there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are talking about how listing your home for sale by owner could cost you $100,000. I know that sounds crazy. I was surprised too when I saw it. So in today's video, we're just going to quickly take a look at this listing, this for sale by owner listing, a recently sold comp to see if my initial assessment is actually correct. And then we're going to take a look at the listing service this owner has utilized. I know you're thinking, wait, I thought you said it's for sale by owner. Um, I will get into that in that segment of the video. And then at the end, I want to hear from you. So I have a couple questions for you. You can leave your answers in the comments below, but let's just dive right in. So you can see on the screen here, this beautiful home listed in Whitefish, Montana, which is the most expensive city within Flathead County, Montana for real estate. So when this listing came across my computer, I did a double take because right away I was like, wow, that is really low price for that home. This home is on one point. 0.67 acres. It's 2,254 square feet, backs up to state land, has an external garage shop, and is listed for $875,000. This is unheard of in Whitefish. So I pulled out of curiosity's sake a few recently sold comps. We're going to go through one of them today. As you can see, this one is very similar. It was the closest one. So for time's sake, we're just going to do this one. The square footage was very close at 2,274. Acreage is a little off. So let's just go through um, and adjust for the differences so we can actually see where our price point would need to be. This is something that I do every day. <laughs> Whether I have buyers saying, should I pay this much or sellers saying, how much should I list for? This is basically the process we go through. However, caveat here, don't use these numbers. These come from formulas based on different statistics and sales and price points and all of that. So call your professional. Okay, so let's just get right into this. So the um, comp that we're looking at at went for $1,133,000 versus our for sale by owner home, which is currently listed for $875,000. So let's go through and make some adjustments because there are some differences. So the square footage we'll start with is very close, but our comp has 20 more square feet than our for sale by owner. So we're going to subtract $9,000 from that $1,133,000 sales price. Then we'll notice also that our comp was built in 2021. Our for sale by owner was built in 1980. That's a big difference. Our comp is probably going to have nice open floor plan, new finishes, things aren't going to break and won't be worn out when you move in. So we definitely need to adjust for that. So for the sake of this video, we're going to take $82,000 off of the price of the comp. And then we do need to adjust because this comp sold six months ago. And according to Zillow, <laughs> we, we, us realtors had different opinions on Zillow, but we'll get into that later or another video altogether. But according to Zillow, the price has dropped 5% in Whitefish, Montana over the last year. So because it's a half of year, we're going to take two and a half percent off of that sold price to adjust for that as well, which is subtracting $28,325. So when we make all of those subtractions from the price of the comp, we end up at $1,013,000. $675, which is still a far cry more than the $875,000 list price that we see on our for sale by owner. Now, but not so fast because our for sale by owner also has some qualities and aspects that our comp does not. So we need to adjust for those. So our for sale by owner home has a garage shop, which is double the size of the one of our comp. So we're not going to do this today, but I want to, I just want to share these numbers with you. So we could add $50,000 back in for that difference. Then our for sale by owner also backs up to state land, which is highly desirable. I get so many buyers wanting to be near state land and there's only so many places. So we're going to add 20,000 back in for that, or we could, we're not going to, we could. And then this for sale by owner home also has an additional 0.67 acres. That's a lot. That's, a, that's like pretty large lot size on its own. So we need to add $75,000 back in. Now, like I said, real life scenario, I probably would, but for today, I wanna be super conservative. So this is $145,000 we could add back onto that price, but we're not going to, because I haven't seen this for sale by owner home, and it only has three photos. <laughs> Another problem with it, it, from the photos that it does have, it looks lovely, but I don't know, maybe it's infested with rats. Maybe it has some other issues that I can't see. Maybe it's just 
hoarders live there. I don't know. So we are going to leave this 145,000 off for now and be super conservative in how we figure. So even with not adding that in, the list price that I show we should be at is $1,013,675, where this for sale by owner has it listed at $875,000. That is a huge difference, but not so fast because this for sale by owner is saving money doing it that way. That's clearly why they're doing it. They're taking on all the work. They're saving money on paying a listing agent to do all the work for them. So we need to figure out commissions and we'll just subtract what they're currently offering versus what they would pay, most likely if they had an agent working for them. So when we do that, currently they're offering 1.75 to the buyer's agent and this listing service combined. And if they did hire somebody, they're probably gonna pay around 5%. The listing agent gets to set their price and they can choose what they pay the buyer's agent. But generally speaking, that's about where it's gonna fall. I realize there's a lawsuit about that right now. Again, that's another video altogether. Um, but buyers already have it hard right now. They are dealing with the higher interest rates, they're coming up with down payments. So it benefits the seller to have a buyer. So he's gonna go ahead and pay for their agent as well. So that agent can bring him a buyer. So it's a win-win all around. Okay, so 5%, that's a lot. So we need to subtract that and then also subtract his 1.75 to see where we end up. Well, when we do that, you'll see with these numbers on the screen that it is still a difference. He would make $103,303.75 more on our conservative pricing by having gone with an agent. Now, how did this happen? How has this happened like this? Uh, let's take a look at the listing service. And if you've watched my other videos, I'm not against for sale by owner. I did it myself before becoming an agent. I get it. There are different reasons people do it. Usually financial, realtors are expensive. I understand that. There's no shame, no hate on my end with that. <laughs> Again, I've done it, so I'm not judging. However, if you are gonna do it, you do need to do your legwork and make sure you're qualified at least somewhat to make all of these different calls and do all, wear all the different hats. So this listing service that this man used, it's a flat fee MLS listing service. That's also what I used, not this particular one, but I used a similar thing when we did our for sale by owner because it gets your listing into the multiple listing service. And as we know nowadays, most buyers are looking online before they even contact an agent. So it is really important if you can for your marketing efforts, which is about all of the marketing efforts a for sale by owner usually has to get on that MLS service. So I get it. I get listing with them and I've done it myself. So you pay a flat fee, but what the service is not, and it's no shade on the service because they don't say that they are, they're not your consultant. They literally take the information that you give them, they plug it into the system and it goes. They're not gonna tell you, <laughs> hey, you could probably get more money for this. They're not gonna tell you, hey, there's a mistake here, which there is. You'll notice that in the listing for this home, it says 2,254 square foot, but then it says a different amount of square foot in the actual description. I went to the public records to verify which square footage we were looking at. So this listing service isn't doing any of that. They're just plug and play. Honestly, AI could probably do about the same right now, or maybe even even better because AI might be able to pop up a warning and say, hey, you could probably get more for this or hey, you should probably list this for less. If it can't yet, it will soon. Again, that's another video for another day. Okay, so the funny thing though about this advertisement for this listing service is it says a better way to sell your home. You save thousands and you might, you could because you're, you'd be saving that percentage you would normally pay a listing agent. Now you're doing all that work yourself. So you could, if you are very knowledgeable, very up on the market, very, you know, aware of what's going on, you could save thousands. I'm not knocking the service, but you have to know what you're doing. <laughs> and if you don't, you could lose thousands, a hundred thousand to be exact plus. So this is just fascinating to me. I would like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Have you before listed for sale by owner? If so, what was your experience and would you do it again? Pluses, negatives. Have you before listed with an agent and what was your experience? Was your agent worth their weight in gold because a good agent should be? You're paying them a lot of money and they better be. But 
that's not everybody's experience, so I want to hear your comments below. And then my third question, are you that you're thinking you might want to sell? And if so, what questions do you have? Reach out to me. Let's go through comps. Let's go through statistics. Let's make an educated uh, decision on getting the most for your equity and also working within your needs and your timeline. That is all I have for you today. Have an amazing week. I'm Janet with Radiant Realty, your Montana realtor, and I will see you next time.